So after saying yesterday that me and Sam weren't going to go out, uh, guess what we ended up doing? I'm fine, but I've ended up, I've woken up this morning and this arm is like really dead. Like it, it's really weird, it's sort of like pins and needles but it doesn't feel like my arm belongs to me. Um, and it's, it's the weirdest feeling I've ever, ever had. And I mean, <laughs> it's quite funny, I was just cleaning my teeth and I kept like missing my mouth, like shoving it in that side of my face like that. I was just like, what are you doing? Um, so I don't know, I think, oh god, and I keep like knocking things over and stuff, it's really weird. I think there's like a trapped nerve in my elbow or something um, that's just making it like really weird. And I mean, it's, it's funny, but like, <laughs> I would really love it if it could just come back because I need to go home in like three hours. Um, I'm catching my train at 2.15 so I need to leave at like half one. Um, I think I might just get an Uber though so I can leave a bit later because I am really not feeling walking to the train station. Like I'm, I'm fine, like I'm just a little bit hungover but it's fine. Um, but packing with like a half dead arm is proving to be kind of interesting and it's, it's actually getting to a point where it's a bit annoying now. So I'm trying to like pick things up and my arm is just like jerking around doing r really weird things and I'm like, can you not please? You're up in the sky, I'll carry you home Home to the mountain near And soon, my friend, you'll see them again The ones you left behind The ones you left behind And I'll sing for you It's one way or the 
So I'm heading back to Manchester today. <sighs> I think like it's weird because like half of me is really excited to go back and then half of me really wants to stay but I'm going back and it's all good. talk a little bit about life really and like university and how it's been coming back after reading week um, because I know I've talked a bit before about like attitudes towards home and like how that's changed and stuff since I moved out and came to uni um, yeah so I just expand on that a little bit talk a little bit more about it because it's weird how different things feel this time how not how much I looked forward to leaving after reading week, but how not how okay I was with it. Because like Christmas, I really didn't want to come back. Um, after Christmas, it was it was a case of my parents having to convince me to come back and not drop out over Christmas. And I don't know, like things just feel different this time. Like that actually, I don't have that sort of ache. For home anymore I don't have that sort of like longing to go back to normal life because I guess this has almost become my normal now um, it's a really weird feeling but like I almost feel like this is a home but in a different way like I have a I have a really different life here and it's not that it's any better or any worse than home but it's just it's just different and like now that I'm beginning to see that I think that's a really good thing. Um, I don't know, I just don't really have that longing to be around familiarity anymore. This kind of is familiar to me now, this kind of is my familiar, this is my normal. And I don't know, being at home this week was a really welcome kind of refresh and recharge because like I said before, I need, I think after if I spend too long in the city, I my brain gets very clogged up and very overwhelmed and stuff, but at the same time, life here is actually just as good as life at home. And I think I'm only really just beginning to realise that and appreciate that. Um, yeah, life here is good. And that's a nice feeling to be having. I do want to get rid of this wall though. Still really dislike the wall. Not long now.